Sports can be fun, but they can also be really dangerous. We need to talk about this. What's up guys, it's Benjamin. This time not from Berlin, but from Cape Town. And this is the reason why today I have chosen a sport for this Hello Sports Tech episode that is very popular in this country of South Africa. I am speaking about rugby. As you know, rugby can be intense, can be hard, can be rough, people can get injured and especially dangerous head injuries. This is why today we are talking about a startup that tries to protect your head. The startup is called Hit IQ and they have developed a smart mouth guard. So that little piece that goes into your mouth and is supposed to protect you against hits and all that bad stuff that can happen on the field. Let's check out their promo video. That looks nasty. I've seen it had plenty of knocks in footy, but witnessing a hit to the head like this is confronting. You know, is that a fair amount of impact on the brain that we've just witnessed then or not? It is, absolutely. Yeah. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Dan, can you explain to me how the Hit IQ mouth guard is able to monitor and track head knocks? So we've taken the normal custom fit mouth guard, we've put a circuitry board inside the mouth guard. On that circuitry board, we have micro sensors that measure forces. So every time you get a head impact, our system is measuring that head impact at 15,000 times per second. So we provide a very accurate data measurement. Fitted and calibrated to individual players, the impact sensors log all head knocks and highlights an athlete at risk of concussion. So it's a multi-stage process to manufacture one of our mouth guards. So the first stage is we have a dental technician take a scan of the athlete's upper palate and that gives us a digital impression of the player's mouth. From there we 3D print a normal custom fit mouth guard for that player. We then instrument the custom mouth guard with a circuitry board and the sensors. We also use a special camera and we actually film the biometrics of the athlete's head. And when we film the biometrics of the athlete's head, it gives us a digital impression of where their brain sits in relation to where the sensors on the mouth guard sit. So, what do you think? I like it very much. I find it kind of fascinating, to be honest. So, what are the points that I liked about it and where do I potentially have a question mark? Here we go. Number one. What I like and what is the most important thing about it, it promises a high accuracy. They have run some tests, they speak about 98% of accuracy. Um, they have put in a bunch of tech to measure the impact that a hit has on your mouth or your entire head uh, accurately. And um, I think that's very important because you have to trust that device and all the data that it uh, puts out. And that's the next point we're coming to. It seems to be a very individualized solution. So uh, if you're playing rugby, um, it depends pretty much on which position you have, what kind of style of play you have. And with all the um, artificial intelligence and the machine learning that they throw in, they seem to really tailor the output to whatever position on the field that you play. I like this. And number three, coming more from the physical side of things, all of their mouth guards are actually customized. So uh, your mouth can get scanned and you get the perfectly fitting one because that obviously increases the accuracy of the whole thing and also feels better for you, I guess. So lots of cool stuff coming from Hit IQ. Uh, I hope I never have to test it. Ron, maybe that's something for you. What, what do you think, huh? Uh, go for it, treat yourself, but I like it. Cool stuff. On the flip side, I don't have too much to say, to be honest. First of all, using a mouth guard is highly recommended, obviously, if it's smart or not. It uh, doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that you have one. The question that I have, though, because I didn't find it on the website, is how expensive those smart mouth guards are. No price there. It typically indicates that it's more on the pricier side of things. Uh, you can send them a request. I'm not sure how mature the whole product is yet. Um, so that is to be figured out. That's my big question mark. And that is it with another episode of Hello Sports Take a quick check. I uh, will enjoy the city of Cape Town a little bit more uh, while it's raining in, in Germany and other countries. So um, yeah, nevertheless, I wish you a good day. Take care and feel free to check out all our wonderful social handles. Goodbye.